I want to talk to you today about a website called soundbetter.com. Now, what is soundbetter.com? Basically, it's a place that can be used either as a person coming looking for professional services such as studio musicians, mix engineers, mastering engineers, or on the flip side, you can be a professional and offer your services through this site. Now, for this particular review, I'm approaching it from the angle of going for professional services. Um, later on, I plan to use it to offer services and let you know about that, but that'll be in a coming review. So what do I think about soundbetter.com? To be honest with you, if you're looking for any bad news about it, this is not the review for you, unfortunately. Um, my first experience with them was wonderful. I have nothing but positive things to say about it. And that's just the honest truth. So here's my experience. I had a project that needed strings on a couple of songs. And over the years, I've done a lot of string programming. I've used LA scoring strings, you know, some of the more top end virtual instrument libraries. But for this one, it's a real Americana singer songwriter, uh, very natural sound that we're going for. So I encouraged the artist said, hey, we, re we really need to hire some real string players for this stuff or else it's just going to stick out like a sore thumb with all the other real elements that we have going on, which is everything. We aren't using um, any virtual instruments on this project. So when you go to Sound Better, you can search by category. And we went down to, you know, string players. And the great thing is there you can look at reviews. You can listen to samples and you can kind of go ahead and narrow down who do you think you want to work with. That's the approach that we took. Another route you can take is just to submit a proposal and the guys at Sound Better will take care of it for you as far as trying to pair you with the right people. And you can have several proposals come in and you can kind of pick and choose who you want to work with from that point. But for us, we honed in on one particular guy we wanted to work with and reached out to him. Here's the cool thing about it. He was on tour in China, but he still got back to us within a matter of hours. I mean, it was the same day and said, hey, I'm going to be back home from tour in two days. I'll have you the, the first tracks within a day from then. And that's exactly what he did. And we had a four piece string section on these two songs, it was just beautiful. And we were able to go, one song was completely perfect. The second song, we had a couple of ideas that we wanted him to try differently. Each time we reached out, he got back to us within an hour or two, maybe even less, uh, had tracks to us that same day. Uh, not only an MP3, a rough mix for us to hear, but also multi-tracks and, you know, wave format for us to import into Pro Tools and to you know, really solo out, make sure we liked what we were hearing. Um, but when you go to the site, you sign up and a couple of things that I think are important to mention. One is that you talk about the details with someone before you commit to working together. So that is to make sure that it's a good fit for them and it's a good fit for you. And in that first message that we sent, we were able to attach an MP3 so we could let him hear a rough mix of the song that we want him to play on. And then, you know, he can go ahead and tell, okay, this is something stylistically I think I can do. And, uh, you know, let us know if he's interested, I guess. And the messaging system within Sound Better is really cool because everything's right there at all. You can see your chain of your conversation and keep track of everything. And with each message, you have the option of attaching files. So that's great. Each time we could attach uh, an updated rough mix or, you know, something along those lines to keep him updated. And one other really important feature is that when you submit your payment, um, SoundBetter holds on to that payment. So as you're going through the process of maybe having revisions, the musician or the mixer or whoever you're hiring actually hasn't been paid yet. So there's just a little bit of a safety built in there so that you don't get tracks that you don't like and then they have your money and they're done and they're like, nah, I'm not, not you know, going to do any revisions. So I thought that was important to mention that there is that built in middleman there uh, sort of as a mediator and holding on to that payment to be released. So 
I plan on working with them as a professional. I'm going to offer mixing and mastering services, maybe some editing through there. I look forward to a, a review down the road of letting you know how that goes, because I think for that, there's a professional tier that is offered where you pay a monthly fee um, to have a more full profile to be featured more prominently. So it's looking to me like it could be something worthwhile, especially for those of us that are just looking for more work in areas outside of our local market. So I'll definitely have a follow-up review to this from a professional side offering services on there. But definitely if you're a, a studio or you're an indie musician, and let's say you don't have a, a real drum set up in your studio, you can go ahead and do your virtual drum track, send it to these guys, and say, this is what I had in mind. And there's people that have drums set up in their own home studio. That's all they do. They, their, their kit's mic'd up and ready to go, and they can give you a quick turnaround, and it's probably not gonna be as expensive as you think. For this particular project, we had two songs that were uh, cello, viola, and two violin tracks for $250 for both songs. And that's amazing. That's an amazing price to me. Um, some people on there have their prices listed. Some people say contact for price. Uh, with this particular artist that we worked with, he had his price listed. But actually when we reached out, um, the combination of doing more than one song, he gave us a little bit of a discount. So anyway, I could go on and on about this uh, because I'm really excited because next we're gonna hire a piano player uh, again, we don't want virtual piano on this stuff. We want a real piano. I don't have, I, I had a upright in here before, but at the moment I don't have a real piano in the studio. So if you've got some holes in your services or what you're able to offer, go check it out, soundbetter.com. Also, <laughs> it's important to mention, full disclosure, the guys at soundbetter.com have no idea uh, that I'm doing this. We have no affiliation. Um, so this is not any kind of paid or influenced endorsement. This is just my honest opinion of something that I think can really help out our community, can help expand what we can offer. And it's so cool to work with somebody that's in Nashville. The guy that we're gonna hire for a piano is in the UK. And there's people all over the world that uh, are just top notch. Now, maybe there's some people in there that aren't so great, I don't know. But the cool thing is, you can go on here, listen to their work ahead of time, have some discussion before you commit. And then, like I said, your payment is held by the guys that sound better. So you've got a mediator there. You've got a built-in protection. Anyway, soundbetter.com. Go check it out if you haven't. If you have any further questions or comments, be sure to leave it below the video. If you would, give this video a like, subscribe to the channel. We would really love it if you click that bell and get the notifications every time we post. We appreciate the support. As always, every Monday and every Friday, we have a new video for you. So thanks again for watching. We'll talk to you again soon.